Early morning on Monday, 2nd August, some arcade owners rushed and opened their buildings to resume operations after the 42 days of the lockdown. Following a presidential directive that allowed the buildings to open, but after complying with the set guidelines, which the city leadership says was misunderstood. A team from the Physical Planning and Public Health Department of the KCCA has partnered with building officers, UPDF, military police and Uganda police to kickstart an exercise of inspecting the arcades to see if they comply to the set guidelines for reopening. Through this exercise, the arcade which will comply will be issued a certificate of compliance. The teams we have constituted, we want to make sure that everything is done in the right time and we want, we want everything to be done in as far as ensuring the elimination of COVID-19 in our people of Kampala. The multi-sectoral team is going to inspect Chikubo to ensure illegal structures are demolished and also see that malls and arcades adhere to the standard operating procedures. For Chikubo area, they are supposed to, they're supposed to make sure that uh, there is no vending but also the lanes in Chikubo are clear and we also get rid of the illegal structures. So this is an, this is an exercise that is supposed to as part of the presidential directive. The Minister for Kampala, Min Sakawanda, explains why the President emphasized installation of CCTV cameras, registration of tenants and customers in arcades. Someone on a CCTV camera can simply see that someone is entering the shop without a mask, someone has not washed hands, someone is doing this and this. Because uh, someone in a control room can easily come and say, no, there are too many people in the shop, let some go outside, then others remain inside. The Mayor Kampala Central Division, Salim Uhuru, has urged the team to issue certificates of compliance instantly to avoid people who have started to impersonate as KCCA staff. We have already got intruders. Two people have already called me that people impersonating to be KCCA officers. So kindly, if any person is trying to impersonate or get money from me, arrest him. Arrest him and bring him immediately to us. People who operate businesses in Kampala, however, propose that the inspection needed to be done when shops are open to clearly ascertain the compliance of the standard operating procedures. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News.